We all want to build on our range and endurance. We're going to talk about ways to develop a solid upper register and improve your overall endurance. For many performers, playing in the upper register with a relaxed and full sound can be a difficult task. Those who have acquired this skill will agree that upper register playing is something that must be practiced regularly with a very relaxed and patient approach. Often, high register playing goes hand in hand with having very good endurance. First, let's go over a few rules for upper register and endurance practice. An important thing to remember is to rest as much as you play. If you do an exercise that is 30 seconds in length, rest that long. During this rest period, be sure to flutter your chops so that you help replenish the blood supply to all your facial muscles. Fluttering in this fashion will help not only the lips, but the many facial muscles involved in playing the trumpet. Focus on your breath. Relaxed inhales with a good open flow to the exhale, not pushing or holding back either. Finally, focus on your sound at all times. Strive for a relaxed, full sound that's open and free, never pinched or constricted sounding. Remember, range and endurance practice should be done a little at a time and never in a rushed fashion, so be patient. The first thing we're going to discuss is breath building. The air supply is of paramount importance when trying to increase range or endurance. Let's start out by taking a few relaxed inhales and exhales with an open throat, making the sound O. Oh. Make sure you're filling up your lungs from the bottom up and getting an unrestricted inhale and follow that with the lungs emptying also from the bottom up. If it helps, get a one and a half inch piece of PVC or clear tubing and use this to help keep that open feeling on the inhale and exhale. Don't force the breaths. Let's start on G in the staff and play a long tone. Relaxed and full, hold it until you're out of breath. Good. Now let's rest as long as we just played. Or if you're practicing with a friend, trade off playing the exercises with them. Before we go on, make sure that your exhale through the trumpet is relaxed just like when you were breathing with an open throat or on the PVC pipe. Focus on an open sound. Now that we have the sensation of an unrestricted long tone, we are going to continue with these in opposite directions. First down a half step to F sharp, and then up to G sharp, down to F, up to A, etc. Take rest time in between each one and flutter your chops in the rest periods. Again, if practicing with a friend, trade off playing and resting. Continue this way until you reach low F sharp and G above the staff. After this exercise becomes easy to play without force and with a big open sound, you may start on middle C and expand from there to low F sharp and high F sharp. Remember the fundamentals. Open sound, good breath, frequent rest, and lots of fluttering. Another variation is to add some tonguing on the sustained notes. Keep your air moving and lightly articulate two or three times on each note. This keeps your tongue flexible and engaged, not stiff or rigid. This exercise will develop excellent breath support using an open sound. It also develops the facial muscles needed for support around the lips and embouchure. Remember, your lips should never be stretched too tight or be too tense. Poor sound quality will result. They should be free to vibrate and your larger facial muscles should be engaged, taking on most of the muscular support role. The result should be a relaxed and solid tone. The Clark Technical Studies are great range and endurance building exercises. Chromatic scales are a wonderful way to gradually expand your range and build your endurance without straining the lips or changing the tone. Remember to always make a beautiful sound. To illustrate the tonal concept we're trying to apply here, take your mouthpiece and buzz a siren up and down as smooth and as slow as possible with a fat and rich sound. <coughs> when 
When we play chromatics, we should also produce a thick, fat sound, and remember that our sound doesn't change as we ascend or descend. Watch now as he plays a chromatic scale from C to C and pay close attention to the sound. It doesn't change. <laughs> Now, as we start our practice of the Clark Studies, think of the siren as you smoothly move through the instrument's range. Let's do exercise number one at a medium soft dynamic, then rest and go on to the next example. If you have progressed to the point where you hear your sound quality change as you ascend and descend, then you need to back up one half step and keep practicing this one for a few days. After several days of easily playing this exercise, reattempt the next chromatic. If it comes easier and doesn't change in sound quality, then you may continue ascending by half steps in this manner. Patience is key in this type of practice. It will pay off in the long run with an easier sound in the high register and better endurance. A teacher once told me that in order to build your range, you must expose your chops to the higher notes gradually, but you must expose them or they'll never adjust and figure these tones out. Don't be afraid to push yourself but always work towards a good sound. The practicing of pedal tones is also beneficial to the development of range and endurance. Pedal tones, or notes below low F sharp, are tones that must be produced by a big, warm, and balanced airstream. These notes will not sound when forced and must be well supported with a full moving airstream. The pedal range should be fingered just like the octave above it, and your embouchure should not change greatly to produce the tones. Good corner support, an open oral cavity, and a full air column are all necessary to produce these notes properly. A very simple pedal tone exercise that is excellent for loosening up and playing with an open sound is descending octave arpeggios played slowly with crescendos through the arpeggio. For example, start on F and descend to C, A, and low F. Continue this as far down as you can go, keeping a good sound and resting in between examples. C to pedal C is a good goal to set, but if you can continue beyond that, keep going. If you hear the sound thinning out or changing radically, try three times for that note and then put it down and come back to it the next day. I like to use pedal tones to really grip the notes and get my air moving with a full relaxed air column. I use it to warm up, warm down, or loosen up any time. They are an excellent tool for really setting a good embouchure and letting your lips vibrate easily. Playing in the upper register, an extreme upper register, requires good corner support and a full air column, just like pedal tones. As you practice things like Clark studies and high flexibilities, interject some pedal tones into your practice just to keep your lips loose. You'll know right away if you're too tight. The pedal simply won't sound. As a variation, and to protect yourself from getting stiff, try alternating loud and soft exercises. The concepts are the same, so you should not change very much to produce these tones softly. Pitch bends are another good tool to use to keep flexible. If you are too tight, you will crack the note, so make sure to stay flexible. As you work on developing your high register, don't neglect the importance of good flexibility. A solid high register is one that is not too tight or brittle sounding, so make sure you include some extended range flexibility work in your practice regimen. Earl Iron's method numbers 11 through 17 are good exercises for the extension of range and flexibility. Do them slowly at first and steadily increase your speed until you're moving easily and nimbly throughout the full range of the instrument. High register playing is something that takes many hours of practice to acquire and only a few days of neglect to lose.
Playing music and etudes that challenge you in the upper register is just as important as doing the calisthenic exercises. Having great musical skill is useless if you never put it into practice playing music. Walter Smith's top tones are a good example of etudes that present many challenges to a player's endurance and upper register facility. Most of all, be sure to stick to your practice schedule and you'll become a more well-rounded and solid trumpet player.